Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. In the last episode, we arrived at Barfeth and discovered the area held by demons. They had ambushes planned to retake the cities as we took them, if we had done so during the daylight. Which was a bit of a shame since we missed the opportunity to get probably anywhere from two to four, or maybe even five battles in for some of the earlier cities that we had taken. But I guessed correctly in the second half, and we were able to level some of our troops. We've been encountering some stronger forces as well, and we lost several members of Penelope's group to a Sphinx, which does quite a substantial amount of damage with his evocation ability in the back rank, 100-something damage, just as much as the Lich had done when we had fought it over here in the Tundra of Argent. But we were in the end victorious, and the Medusa that we spoke to at the end told us that the demons were willing to endure living alongside or allowing to let humans live in their held territories, as they are required in order to resurrect Danica, their queen, who apparently shares a bloodline with that of the royal family. And I have a hunch we'll see more about that when we finally meet Yumo, which we may do sooner rather than later. I haven't made up my mind yet if I want to go to Tybal, the Wicked Land, or Latium next. I will think about it off screen after we do the area investigation for Barfath. But first, we have several things to do. Let's go ahead and put a small break here and get those things done. And that is taking care of the equipment on our characters. I've already done most of the itemization off screen, but I'm going to want to pick up more Altars of Resurrection. We used a few of them in the last episode. I think I'm down three currently. And so the plan will be to head, be to, head to Dark Donald's off screen and repurchase three more from the shopkeeper there at the first of next month. But I won't make you guys endure that. Let's go ahead though and equip our characters with some of their some of the stuff I want them having. And I guess I actually I have to figure out what it was I actually hit. Okay, I I I think I remember. So we picked up a glam drink in the last episode, and I can't think of any of our knights that want it. Anyone who would be using a glam drink is probably already using one. Or they're using something better at this point. I guess the katana might not be better. It probably it, it is. You guys will, won't need it. I think it's as good as the blessed sword. Yeah, just as good. I'd rather have a blessed sword to help me deal with undead if necessary. Okay, so there's nothing here that I can't... We don't need to equip the gland. I guess we'll, we'll actually do this. So let's go back to sell, and we'll go ahead and, as usual, go through and sell off anything I don't think I need. We did pick up a few... Hanya masks? I don't quite know how to pronounce them. We should see if anyone wants to wear these. And I think quite a few people do. These should be given to our sword masters, I'm pretty sure. Yes, yep, it improves their ment and their agility. And I think are better in every way than their Hachiganes. So we'll want all of them to have one of these. Even if I don't see their defense and resistance go up, I do see their stats improving, so I know it's an improvement for them. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll give it to you as well, and we unequip the decoy hat. And I still will want more of them, because they'll be useful for our... Yeah, they'll be... Oh, we do do some decks, but I think it's still a good trade, swapping out the Jingasa for these on our Voltens. As well as anyone else who can really wear one, we're going to want to give them to them. I think our Dragon Masters can wear them, too. Is that correct? Oh! Our Dragon Masters, though, are wearing, like, ice bandanas. Oh, but maybe this is better. I see Ment and Agility go up. What does the ice bandana do? It's three boosts to strike, 
5 resist fire, minus 2 resist water. And this is 3 resist strike, 2 meant 2 agility. I guess we can keep them with it. Alright, anyway, that's uh, all the masks I picked up, so if I want to equip more, we'll have to purchase more. We picked up another two-handed sword of some sort. Let's see which one of you could utilize it. Yeah, when I've been looking at this, it looks like we lost quite a bit of damage on this weapon, but we pick up a tiny bit of dex. I don't think that's probably worth the trade, to be quite honest. I think I would rather keep the swords we have on everyone. Let's check two other characters, but I... I'm pretty sure we're not going to swap to it. Yeah, I'm, I refuse to lose 10 damage of a character to pick up a tiny bit of dex. Okay, yep, so we don't need that weapon, so let's go ahead... Actually, let's go ahead and equip the things I know we have. We picked up a petrification bow, supposedly. I'm going to actually equip it. We're going to give it to Apophis, who it seems the best suited to wield such a weapon. So she'll gain... 5 damage in the back, and have a chance to petrify people with the bow. We did pick up Terra Armor, but we already have Terra Armor equipped on Apophis, and I don't think anyone else wants it. Or maybe they do. Hold on, we have some Cloth Armor apparently equipped on a few people. Uh, a few people, is that correct? That's, I don't think that's correct. No, that's not correct. We require four Cloth Armor for our Sword Masters. Okay. Um... We didn't get a better buckler. We didn't get a better shield. We don't have any better swords. I don't think we got a better staff. But we did pick up Armageddon. So we should equip that on a mage. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking we do give it to Saradin in the end. Well, I really like the look of Atmosphere. It's one of my favorite looking spells. Unfortunately, these two aren't casting it together very often. So, I'd rather just have the big AoE damage back here. So, we're going to go ahead and do that, at least temporarily. I can't think of reason not to use a, a Draconite book, other than you feel a little guilty using it. So, we'll go ahead and give him Annihilation. We could move our Freya into the second rank now instead, but I kind of like her doing some more AoE damage back here, so we'll leave her there. We did pick up another suit of specialized armor. Can you wear it, Magnus? You can! Oh, this is the special armor that I think, I think, whatchamacallit, down here is using, isn't he? Yes, yep, the same armor that debonair is using it should probably honestly go on a tank someone who's taking all the hits so that would be hanzo or like ultra we'll give it to ultra and we'll move ultra back to the center of his army Okay, we have a few usable items that we picked up as well, but we're not going to use quite all of them. We have a couple life to give some hit points to someone. Once again, I'm a fan of giving this to people who are standing in the center, because they're because they're tanking. So, so far, that, that might be Ansabelle, or Troy. Troy only has 217 hit points, so he could probably use it. Dio is a leader standing in the center, so uh, arguably it should be Dio who needs it the most. Droit could probably use it. I Actually, now I'm looking at this. Let's do a little moving around here. Astrid, you're not standing in the center, but you can't take very many hits. 
Let's give it to Astrid. She gained 10 hit points. We have a mirror, mirror of soul, which will increase the person's ment abilities. Let's give that to... Man, I, wa I want to keep giving these things to Clifford so that he resists the status effects, but he's just never going to resist them. So screw it, we're not going to give it to him. He's, he's just really unlucky when it comes to resistances. Could give it to one of our archers in the back rank. Sure, we'll give it to Petra. And we have a champion statue, but I'm going to hold on to that at the moment. On the off chance we get a chance to use a love and peace in the future. Which we have three of now, by the way. And I still haven't found a good target for them. Alright. Do we have anything else we care to sell? Let's double check. Decoy cap is too useful to sell it. We're never going to use a flame flail. I don't need another one of these claws. We don't need this extra axe of the worm. I do like holding on to an extra Kirikian, so we'll hold on to that. We don't need a glam drain. We already have one equipped. We're never going to use this. Let's fender the Umbrium. Don't need that extra composite bow any longer. I will hold on to the Malachite sword. We have an extra... Okay, this is the weapon we just picked up. I don't care about it. We're just going to vendor it. Oh, the Lance of Long, I guess. We want to equip that. I forgot about it. All right, let's see. I guess we could give it to... Lime. Oh, she's using Zephyros for Thunder Flare. Let's give this to Leia instead, and we'll give her the Evil Spear. Oh, wait, what? This this turns her to a healer. Really? Lance of Damnation that harms even the gods is a healing stat is a healing spear? I guess we'll make her a healer. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I'll keep I'll keep them together as well. Okay, so we lose the combo the combo ability altogether from them, but we don't care any longer. We pick up a healer, and we still have fantastic AOE damage. That's acceptable. And then we can give Leia the Zephyros. Oh, she doesn't pick up any extra damage with Thunder Flare though, having it equipped. But she does pick up one more defense, so still worth it. I don't want to sell any of these books. I don't care about any of my shields. Let's sell single plate mail. We no longer need the witch's dress at all. I'll hold on to the extra boulder armor, because I think we need it if we want another seraph, just in case we get an angel knight or something of the sort in the future. I guess we'll hold on to the extra terra armor. And I think that's it, everyone. Yeah, that is it. Oh, we have an extra Altar of Resurrection, apparently. Or one of them needs to be equipped. So let's just immediately go ahead and do, the, do that here. Okay. And I'll be right back, everyone. I'm going to head on down to Dardunnels in order to pick up some more Altars of Resurrection. So give me a few seconds. Okay, guys. Before we do the area exploration... I did indeed, as you, as you saw right there from the background picture perhaps that just flashed. I went back to Dardunnels and I purchased three more Altars of Resurrection. All of our squadrons now have an altar and I've got one extra just in case we need it. Okay, let's go ahead and do the area exploration of Barfath. I suppose we'll start by having Magnus 
head on into the stronghold. The townspeople have informed us that Cerberus and mature dragons inhabit the area. They have special abilities. If you tame them, they will serve you well. Okay, well, we don't need either of those at this point. Here we go. You should probably mention how we do, how dragons are very handy. <laughs> we might want a few in our army, even though we already have them. Let's get four more Hanya Mask. Actually, let's... A bit awkward, but I'll do this on screen. I want to make sure that everyone who can have a Hanya Mask and would benefit from one has one. So let's see really quick. Or maybe I'll do this off screen. Do, can you benefit from them, Archer? Oh man, they can. Okay. It doesn't improve their decks at all. What does the plume? Do? I can't tell what the plume headband does. Oh, 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 I can. Wow, it's nothing. No stats improve for plume headband. You just need one to look cool. Okay. So then I'll be back, everyone. I'm going to buy a bunch of these masks to get them equipped to everyone who would benefit from them. So give me a few seconds. Okay, guys, it's done. Had to buy a... I think I bought an extra four beyond the three I just purchased. So 14 total are equipped by members of our army. All the archers got them and our dragon masters got them as well. I'm tempted to buy a handful of extras, but we haven't used any love and pieces yet to get another like dragon master in my forces. So until that happens, I'm not gonna be too concerned. All right, and we've already done the area exploration in terms of loot, uh, loot looking. We'll go with that as a term. So let's go ahead and move our people out to these cities. Oh, uh, well, okay, let's do that again then. And see what the people are saying at them. And we can talk about some random stuff once everyone is deployed and any close by cities are reached. Papas, I guess we'll send you out as well. Give me a chance. If you do have a random encounter, it'll give us a chance to see how useful or not useful that bow is we just got for you in the last episode would be. There is one group here who has... Who's like two experience shy of three other units getting to level up, but I don't remember who it is. And I don't have my spreadsheet in front of me and I'm too lazy to bring it up, so I'll just have to wait on that until training starts. I may do a little bit of, it'll be a very little bit of hunting down creatures here. Once again, only to have the encounters. I don't, I won't necessarily care if they win, since I just need a handful of experience points to level up some of these uh, squads. My goodness, this is a huge map. Isn't there a way for me to see where they're going? No, there isn't. <laughs> I think I've got one city left no one's going to. So let's get one more person deployed, Clifford. Actually, yeah, we have one more city. This one. Okay, guys, what can we talk about? Well, I guess I'll just talk about how things are going so far. So, first off, thank you guys for hanging out for all these area explorations, or at least some of them. Perhaps at least this one, if nothing else. It's been a lot of fun to play Ogre Battle 64 again. And we are about to pass the place where I reached 20 years ago. Once we siege Latium and fight the boss there, Everything else after that, to the best of my recollection, will be brand new. I don't, re I won't remember anything which occurs there, and I only remember the boss battle, which happens as we siege the location, as opposed to anything else which occurs there, because it, it really stood out as to who we fight and what the battle's like, and some things which occur uh, indirectly or directly because of the choices we've made earlier. Hold on, let's have du Dio? Dulio? Let's have Dulio go into the stronghold. I can't believe you're allowed to walk around freely. 
Where are the knights and their prissy noblemen? Unless they reinforce order, vermin like you will be running roughshod all over us. <laughs> well, at least she's at least the uh, the laws allow her to speak her mind. I don't agree with that. I think, well, I guess she feels that we're uncouth barbarians from the south, as it were. And we are part of the Revolutionary Army. And they've probably heard all sorts of nasty things about us from the nobles. Upper, uh, the upper class here and so on. People who would be more... Actually, I guess even the middle or lower class here would be doing far better than the, the people surviving in the south. They'll do what's happening here. You... killed it? Huh. What kind of spell did you use? Ah, I see. A stronger foe can be beaten with a stronger mind, huh? Is he talking about the Medusa? I guess he is. Did he tell us about the Medusa? I can't remember. I just recorded that part yesterday. Today is... December 4th, 2022, and I'm recording this part, and I don't remember what happened a day ago. All right, let's think. What's going on? So, I guess we'll talk about other video games again. But this time, I'll talk about the ones I'm currently uploading and what you guys seem to think about them, as well as anything that I have planned for the very near future. So first off, uh, Aena of the Sands is going well. By the time this video gets published on my channel, there will be one more of those videos to go live. Happening... When will that occur? The 12th. December 12th. You guys seem to really like the game, and I'm glad you did. I really enjoyed playing in of the Sands. I liked the setting. I like the writing, although I will admit it took a little bit for me to get used to it. Uh, but it felt like I was playing a, a role-playing game with the Dungeon Master sitting in front of me. If you guys, if you guys have ever played actual Dungeons & Dragons... Most of the time, like 95% of the time in the games I've played, or more than that, actually, more like 99.9% .9 of the time, half the time that I'm playing D&D for is spent not playing Dozen of Dragons, or you're having some sort of dialogue and people bring in pop culture, or they make real, real, real world references, or they're trying to be funny and stuff like that. And it's great. It's great. As long as, it's not, as long as it's not happening all the time, or... If it is happening all the time, as long as everyone is in agreement that it's acceptable, which is to say, they don't mind it, then it's great. And on that note, the responses and some of the writing in In of the Sands was like that. The narrator speaks directly to the player sometimes, as opposed to just keeping everything narrated in-game. It's one of the handful of times I've seen it done in a video game. Most of the time, they do keep it in-world, and they try not to break the fourth wall all that much. But I liked it. It grew on me as I played it. So, the game alternates between these types of narration, with most of the narration being spoken to you by the narrator, is thematic and on point with what's going on in the game world. But sometimes, it's not. Sometimes the narrator just wants to explain something in more simple terms, or breaks the fourth wall as he talks to you. I've, I've learned that many of you guys aren't real fans of that, and I can understand that as well. Once again, the writing grew on me as I played it, and by the time I was beginning to record the game, I really enjoyed the writing, as I understood, I thought, why it was written the way it was. Hold on, let's head into this stronghold with Bumba. A sorceress. Some spells don't draw power from spirits or the gods. They're nothing like the spells that we know. I want them. She's cute. Probably too cold for her to wear an outfit. Although, well, if she is a sorceress, she can just, I suppose, like, it's like probably like a cantrip spell to just make sure she's always comfortable no matter what she's wearing, even in the cold wet weather up here. Because that two-piece can't be can't be too warm, <laughs> normally. All right, Apophis, let's head in here. Since your arrival from the east, 
the descendants of the Netherworld have come out! You will encounter more of them as you approach the capital. What's going on? Will Latium be swallowed by the Netherworld? Apophis is like, I hope so! <laughs> I like how she has her hair, too. Though her hair reminds me more of a slime girl than a snake girl. But she is a Medusa, right? So she's supposed to have snake, uh, snake hair. Apophis, I guess we'll have to go here, go rest, and then go back up to the castle. All we're doing here, is, as you can see, is we're visiting the cities, seeing what they say, and then we're leaving. There's no reason for us to stay here. We've already done all the area exploration, as far as I'm concerned. Getting our Draconite book. I, I like the gameplay in that as well. It was one of the most fast-paced, quick reaction time requiring, first-person, grid-based dungeon crawlers I have played. I feel it is more appropriate to say that game was more like Darklands than like Grimrock. Because in Darklands, I don't know if you guys remember Darklands from the 1980s or early 1990s. It was a choose-your-own-adventure narration. Oh, hold on. We have more people who need to go into some cities. Hold on. Let's do that. Well, that's not suspicious at all! <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. All right. First off, Clifford, you're going to go back here. And Bumba... The reason why you don't understand what's happening there, Bumba, is because you're you're too good aligned, uh, lawful aligned. We need a chaotic person there. Oh, Ult Ultra could do that actually. Let's have Ultra do that. So Ultra, you'll go here. Di oh, and you're not Bumba. You're Dismas. Dismas, you go here. And Clifford, I'm sorry, you go back to this this city. We obviously need to talk with him at night. That's what we need to do. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So. Yeah, in Darklands, when you wanted to go to different places, and many of the encounters that you had were done via narration, and what you chose to say, and what abilities or skills your people had in the game. But when you were exploring, or combat started, you would get brought to the uh, isometric view to do the real-time combat in that game. Rather a unique way to do it, I, I remember really liking it. But I remember also having a really difficult time playing the game. It was very unforgiving. This, uh, Aeon of the Sands is somewhat similar. Actually, let's, let's send Clifford into here first. Well, compared to the Ogres, you guys are much better. You guys can understand what I'm saying. At least, I hope you do. Now, we haven't had too much to drink yet, I suppose. Yeah, so unlike that game where the combat would take you to a real-time strategy conflict, in this one it takes you to the three-dimensional view for to resolve the battles that you do. I like it. It was rather a unique way of doing such, as opposed to a series of levels and in a dungeon or interconnected areas uh, within the world that was that were all explored via the same view. Similar to Eye the Beholder, or Vaporum, or what have you. Adora, let's head on in. If we keep killing each other, we're no better than them. What else is there? How are we different from them? Use your power, courage, and intellect to fight for our loved ones and our future. Well, that's what they're doing in a way, too, isn't it? They're fighting for Danika, their queen and to help their own uh, kind in the future. I think you guys had explained to me that there was a large battle here in this world to determine if humans or demons would be the race which got to live here. And it was the humans which won in the end, with some god's help. I right, Ultra. Let's, let's talk with the vampire. Hmm. What did you want to ask me? Don't be afraid. I'm a gentleman. You seem surprised. It's not uncommon for someone like myself to live among humans. I wonder if we come back here with an actual vampire. If there's some special dialogue that occurs between the two. 
Well, I don't have one, and I have no one I want to make one at this moment. I'll just have to try to remember that this is, you know, this is a potential place we can go to have a unique dialogue. This miss, let's send you in here. Have you been to the north? It's covered with snow year-round and sparsely inhabited. Count Silvis is popular among his people. He may be able to help you. Oh, unfortunately not. We already visited that location and Silvis is quite dead. Office. Now you go back home now. And yes, everyone, I have to walk everyone back. That's You guys know that by now. That's the way this works. Adora, let's see. I have to go here first. Alright, yeah, so uh, gameplay was great. I do think the game, so if I was to talk about some of the things I disliked about the game, I think there's some balance choices which uh, are questionable. Some of the harder to acquire weaponry, the flamethrower in particular, uh, is is awful. <laughs> it's not a good weapon. It, be, uh, it hurts you. It does very minimal damage. It requires fuel in your offhand, and there's not much fuel. It doesn't stack at all, and it's it was a lot of work to bring all that equipment to the end of the game to only to find out that it wasn't very good. And you have to also find the flamethrower. It's it, it wasn't easy to get either. It's you have to actually do a particular battle and answer one of those choose your own adventure choices a very particular way to reach that location. And I think the option I chose also led me to the ending I got in the game, which you'll see when that video goes up, assuming that you're watching that one too. Hold on, Astrid, let's go into the fort. What are you doing? Quit wasting time! More people are hurt the longer the war continues. You must win quickly and lead us to peace. Oh, nonsense. If we go, if we go about this quickly and recklessly, which is what's going to happen if I do it quickly, then we're going to take lots more losses. No, we're not doing it quickly, we're doing it at our time frame. Technically, I can wait 100 years, 99 years. <laughs> game doesn't care. The game would have had some sort of penalty for taking our time. Actually, I guess the only time we're rushed is when we're actually sieging, since we have to complete each siege within a certain time limit, or we automatically lose the siege. But to my knowledge, it's really difficult to force that to occur, unless you specifically desire that outcome. Alright, everyone's heading back home. Let's also think. Some of the harder to acquire mana catalysts also were not as good as the ones I got early on. But the game was actually rather interesting because it doesn't make any assumptions about where you will go and where what encounters you will have. Oh, I suppose I should mention that some of the some of the answers you give in the dialogue can have quite varied outcomes. Characters who you have in your adventure group could leave your group. You could, someone could die. You could have permanent stat loss. Uh, equipment could be lost on everyone. And there's some absolutely miserable <laughs> results which get to transpire. As if you're playing an old 1980s choose your own adventure game. So, some trial and error is required there. And more power to you if you are willing to sit down and play through the entire game without any reloading. Because I can only imagine your first time through will be miserable. <laughs> but still fun, I suppose, in a way. Because you're you're going to be having a harder time. I know that to get some of the companions I did in the game. Courtney in particular. I, I answered every single statement. Or I chose every single answer possible in those dialogues the wrong way. Every one of them I chose incorrectly. Then I had to reload the game and try it again If I, because I was like, I know I can get this girl in my group. I just have to navigate through this dialogue tree correctly. And man, it was one of the toughest things I've, well, not the toughest things I've done. But it required, I, I had to reload like 14 times, because every single time I would choose the wrong answer. <laughs> what the heck, man? Oh, man. If I ever play through the game again, on screen, I will have to choose vastly different choices and take different people with me to show off how different the game can be. I'm recording a few games at the moment, 
and one of them, 13 episodes, are actually uploaded to my channel, but they're privatized, so no one can see them yet. Because I want to make, I want to finish Stirring Abyss before I focus on this game that I've played 13 videos for already. I guess I can surprise you guys with the name of it. It's called The Void. It's a very strange game. It's a resource management game. Where you are managing, the easiest way for me to describe it is you are managing different types of mana. As if they come from, as if it's like much to gathering, like different colored mana. And you have to ration out how much to spend of different colors. And how much to, like, how much you want it. Hmm. It's really hard to explain it here. Much easier to see it in the game. So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll wait until I make those public. I really like the game. I struggled with the game mechanics for a bit, and I installed a mod for the game which reduces the difficulty of it. Supposedly the game is extraordinarily difficult and very easy to lose it, and so I installed something called the Medium Patch, which makes uh, creatures have a little less hit points, they do a little less damage, you require a little less mana to interact with the world and cast your spells successfully. And I got, I've gotten pretty far. Uh, 13 cycles, I think, are completed. And I'm actually not having too much difficulty at the moment, but I've also only fought one boss. And as far as I can tell, I'm going to have to fight about 15 bosses. <laughs> and it can take a lot of color to fight those bosses. I haven't seen all the creatures. I'm not familiar with all the story. I don't know what the plot twists are. I'm, there's got to be some. Uh, the reason why, in particular, this game's going to be a bit tricky to make visible on my channel is I have to age restrict all of the videos, which I've done already for the ones that are privatized, because there's some naked ladies in the game. And while the game's not sexual, it is sensual. Uh, they are very attractive looking girls, and they, they're not wearing anything. <laughs> so, it's... It's the first time I'll upload a game of this sort. It's not a porn game. There's none of that going on in the game, at all. It was just an artistic choice. And I, I think I understand why they did it, too. Which I think I talk about during the game. But I very much like it. Uh, I like how it instills panic in me. And I feel like I never have enough time to do anything. The game is made by the same people that made Pathologic. And just like Pathologic, you're on a time limit. And that time is ticking. And so you feel like you need to do everything in the most optimum way, the most efficient way possible. And it's very tricky. I, I've very much enjoyed it so far. And things are looking good for our protagonist in that game. I'm also recording Cosminator. Cosminator is a shoot 'em up. It's like an old arcade game where you're flying like a, a jet and you're dodging, uh, dodging all the bullets enemies are shooting at you while you gun down all the gun turrets, enemies, enemies, uh, flyers, and what have you. It's the only shoot 'em up I've ever played, and I really like it. I feel like I found the best shoot 'em up ever, and I feel really bad that no one else is recording it or playing it. It only has a handful of people who've played through it up here on YouTube. So I wanted to record it, and upload it, but the only issue is that I replaced the music in that game with music from all sorts of other games instead, and I'm not sure if I can get away with uploading what I've done. I also still need to record my voice over that game, but I'm tempted to try to upload a few videos, not make them public, and just see... Just see if I get any copyright strikes on the channel. If I just get copyright claims, that's fine. There'll be commercials on the videos. But copyright strikes, like, YouTube should warn me that if you make this public, we have to strike your channel. In which case, well, that's a shame. <laughs> I guess I just won't upload it then. Alright, that's it for the Babylon, and that's it for the air exploration. So, let me put a break here, and we'll come back to do some training. So give me a second. Okay, guys, let's get some training done. I have six armies listed for training. These groups have... Actually, it looks like I probably should actually have eight. Since these groups are ones which have collectively 
a level less than 29, but we're gonna do six to start. Let's go ahead and get and do this. As usual, if I see something in here which is like a cockatrice or on the front line a gorgon, where we're immediately reloading. <laughs> I shake my fist at whoever designed the training for this location to have that as an enemy squadron. Come on now. Come on now. We, we need specific builds to handle those things in the game world. And the same thing would occur for training. Anyway, let's do this. So we're going to start with lottery. Hi there! Oh, so you're on your way back from a battle? Aren't you tired? Well, if it's what you want. Oh, this is actually a dangerous group. We may lose Lottery or Metha here. Oh, uh, or maybe not, since there are archers in the center and not in the back rank. Which would have been really bad for us. Yeah! I like it when they block that attack in such a way. Ow! Ooh! Ouch! Yep, we're not above using Tempest during a training session. Good blocks on their side. That saves Metha. If she crits lottery, I uh, say so we could we could lose him. Wow, impressive blocks on their side of uh, resistances. But in the end, it doesn't save them. And we finish off your seven hit points with another Tempest. I always thought Tempest was the best looking of these uh, Draconite books. Flame gets 100 experience points. We all, the rest of us get 85. That means we're 15 short, so I might come back to Barpath and look to do a battle there with Lottery's group. I'll do that off screen. Alright, next one. Let's go ahead and. Oh, let's do that first. Let's go ahead and train with Europa. Who is next? Europia. Europia. Keep calling her Europa. Oh, what the heck is this silliness? <laughs> Hi there! How do you like pumpkin heads? Four pumpkin heads. And a witch. Thankfully, it'll, the pumpkin in the back rank is the most dangerous one here. Thanks to pumpkin shower. We could lose someone immediately to it. It's going to take us a bit to get through this. Saradin! That was impressive! This is the dangerous one. Because these could kill, and it doesn't do so good. I think that they only get one pumpkin shower, so they have likely lost this fight. Now that they got that attack off. Excellent work. Oh, by the way, we had a birthday, so we should go look at that as well and sell our chalice of a uh, goblet of destiny. <laughs> we'll do that last. Let's uh, let's have debonair train next. All that goth that we had, as you can see, we're starting to lose it quickly. Oh, this is painful with those pumpkin heads on the front rank. But we do have a healing Valkyrie in the back rank to help us recover from it, I think. Good guard, Destin. The good news about him taking that big hit is it guarantees Dew buffs him up. 
Oh, nice, Destin. That was incredible. Nice. They all get healed. Leader down. Hmm. Next round of combat. Oh, after this guy goes. Oh, good block. Good block. Good. Oh, nice guard, sir. Oh, okay. Now it's the next round of combat. I, I can't even tell what combat round we're in. That was so seamless. And a single public head cannot win th this battle. what I think about the healer here. Our Valkyrie. I may want her to go back to being damaged. But I can look at that later. Let's do another training. Clifford, you're up this time. Yeah, we're gonna go down to 20,000 goth. Oh, this is a nasty group too. I don't know if we beat this group. Thanks to the two pumpkin heads and the sorceress in the very back rank. Gonna be close if we win. I was hoping they they wouldn't get that off first. Okay, uh, we've lost. If they're all going first, they're, we're not winning. Uh, our archer's dying right here. We have to kill that pumpkin head somehow before it gets another one of its attacks off. And we didn't. All right, good. That's very good. Yo, you should be taking a lot less damage than you are taking from these magic attacks. You're a boulder golem for crying out loud. At least you're, at least you're, you're blocking some of it or resisting some of it, which is nice. All right, good, very good. Unfortunately, we lost our uh, our archer, Diana. There we go. Didn't get anything from from that. But we're trying not to reload, so we press on. Ultra, you're up next, and then Belduk is as well. Once again, pumpkin heads. Pumpkin heads everywhere here. Very tricky. Because that's a, that's a ton of damage we, we take. If we get to go first, and we can get a volcanic... Uh, okay, well, that we're not. <laughs> Good resistance, though. Oh, Lerman. Oh, that was a big hit. Chuck. I forgot it's Blue Spiral they have. I keep thinking that they'll use uh, Lava Flow, but I think I took that away from them. Good. Very good. I kind of feel like the poison effect should be... should apply itself a little more frequently than it is. And Belduk's up last. Bruno and Bumba arguably need training as well. But I'm going to hold off doing so. Oh, let me do this as well. I think we've seen all the battles that can occur here now. They're going to need another... The Belduk's going to be used next mission, too. We just don't have the experience on her for 29 yet. This will be really helpful, this fight. Okay, we did this before. 
I don't see them winning unless they, like, we're not going to lose a unit unless they, I think, focus on Leia or they crit someone. The Diana crits, like, our sorceress back there. Who is that? Oh, that's Bell Duke. Right. Nice plaza storm. Holy crap. Took out their their entire back line got paralyzed. That was wonderful. And we and we, and we do of course we do another. Of course we do. Oh, oh, oh man. Genoan, that's amazing. All right, and that'll do it for the training. And I've decided that we will do Tie Build the Wicked Land next. So we'll be heading up there for the scene. So give me a few seconds. Hey everyone. Before we go off to the next scene, I almost forgot about the birthday. So we're going to go ahead and watch that first. And then I want to talk with you guys just a little bit about our army again. Because I think I've got a plan for it. It involves me retiring a few units, though, that I really wasn't so sure I'm going to retire. But we will talk about it after we look at our birthday. Definitely want to sell this Goblet of Destiny. <laughs> It'll help pay for some of the training we're about to uh, that we did. So, events. Every, I believe it is, 10th year, you get something unique for your birthday. We got, for example, the Magnus doll quite early on. Until we reach the next 10th birthday, Magnus's 30th, we, we won't get anything that isn't a Goblet of Destiny, Urn of Chaos, or a Scroll of Discipline from these, unfortunately. What you get, by the way, that's not a special gift, also changes, I believe, every so often. So if we were to hit 30 years old, the next birthday, at 31, we would get something like a, I think like a Stone of Quickness, for example, or maybe a Mirror of Soul. And with those, we get three different consumables, and those would be altered every birthday from then on. We could sit here, by the way, and farm our birthdays. We could just let decades pass, but I, I'm not gonna. We're, we're gonna go ahead and just beat the game. It's weird for me just to sit around and not do anything. That's, that feels a little too odd. Anyway, happy birthday! In the midst of a fierce war, Midas turns 25. His companions throw a birthday party and give him a present. Happy birthday, Magnus! Happy birthday, Magnus! It would be great if this is a scroll of discipline. <laughs> It'll be great if this is the Scroll of Discipline. It seems like just yesterday we got an Urn of Chaos, doesn't it? How old are you now? You're, yeah, you're younger than- yeah, I'm, 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 I'm still a year younger than you. I'll always be a year younger than you, Dio. Man, if this is Scroll of Discipline, I'm just gonna cackle madly. This is- this be great. The- the look of disappointment on Magnus' face when he got an Urn of Chaos last time compared to, like, they realize, oh crap, we got him the wrong thing. Okay, let's give him Scroll of Discipline this time, and now I don't need it. It's just a further insult. <laughs> a further slap in the face for the birthday. It'd be wonderful. I, it's something I would absolutely do for one of my friends. Here we go. Show me that Scroll of Discipline. Do it. I dare you. Goblet of Destiny. Alright, just vendor trash. Thank you, guys. If the Gum of Destiny was always plus, like, plus luck, I'd use it. But it, because it can lower our luck, I, I just view it as trash. This is trash. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and sell that Goblet of Destiny. Okay. Actually, everyone, we'll talk about our army later. Uh, it's, uh, but I have a plan. You may see me grab a few units in this mission that I would normally never grab, but I have an I, I have a plan. 
It's gonna have a more thematic army for Apophysis. Ap Apophis, if I can manage it. All right, let's go ahead and head to Tybell, the Wicked Land. Scene 35, Advocates of the Darkness. This land holds no strategic value, but there is one concern. Concern? The demons seem to rule this land, but it seems pretty peaceful. That's why people are flocking here. Are you saying they're dependent upon them? It seems that way. This only compounds matters. They've stationed their units to protect the refugees. They want us dead. Here are the details. I've, I feel a little guilty actually attacking this place. They just want to be left alone. Let's get started. Our headquarters will be Pan... Uh, uh, <laughs> Pizzano, at the center of the map. The objective is Castle Lo Lloyd Gust. I thought that was Lloyd, Lloyd Disgust for a second. A day west of Pazano. These are difficult to pronounce city names. We must liberate this castle. The enemy are demons from the netherworld, led by more powerful beings. Some possess special powers that we can't even imagine. However, there must be ways to deal with them. Do not give up. It sounds like we're fighting lots of Medusa when you word it that way. Lots of Medusa and lots of Sphinxes. Or, or Gorgon. Gorgon and Sphinxes. Is that what we're fighting here? Guess we're about to find out. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm certain they're watching and waiting for us. Okay, Castle Loyal, Loyal Gust, Loyal Disgust, and Panzano. Oh crap, my spreadsheet is not up in front of me, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's do it! So, dispatching Bumba, Belduke, and Bruno. Sorry, uh, no talking during dispatching. It takes too much effort for me to play the game and talk at the same time when I'm dispatching units. Ultra is coming out. Clifford Lee. Lottery. Europia. Adora. And Dio. This is who I have scheduled to go out on this mission. Right! This is a neutral territory, so we don't want to take this place. We'll just let it stay there. Slightly chaotic. To left to. Clifford is the only one who can potentially claim that city. So Clifford will head on down there. Debonair could too. Can we deploy someone else? We cannot. Okay. Clifford is basically neutral, so he'll head down here. Uh, this is so difficult, the alignments. All right, slightly lawful, Lockery. So we'll have Europia go there, because I think she is leaning lawful very slightly, and she'll head up over the mountaintops to do that. Right in front of us is Kalis Ande, and it is good aligned, so Bumba can lead the charge there. And that's good. Let's start. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, we've got hostiles. 
a siren with an ogre and two goblins. So... Belduke can head out to deal with her. We have a legion marching on us. Weinberg. I don't really care about the Centurion because his army I know is going to be the weakest. There's a Satoros in his force. Whistler. That's an interesting name for him. And three soldiers. Curtis is Satoris and four goblins. That's an interesting group. It's very weak, all things considered. Aqua. A dragon master with a earth dragon and two goblins. Earth dragon in the back rank. That will be tricky. And Norton. A black knight with two imps and a... Oh, uh, the upgraded griffin. Adora. Adora will have you... I guess we'll just march a bunch of people down here. And as they, as they all fight, we will pull them back one by one using quick gates. We'll send one more person that way. Uh, I guess it'll be me. Oh, there's a shop in this place. We want to see what that shop is. So, Magnus, let's see what's inside the shop. Hmm, let's see. A plumed headband. So I'm guessing we have lightning staves. Oh, actually, there's no weapons here at all. They do have feather suits. I think those are slightly better than some of the other armor we're wearing. So we'll buy two of these. And that's it. Interesting. Okay. What's here, by the way? Why is... There's two people here. Edgar. A satirist with two imps and two goblins. And Swift. A black knight with two ogres. Oh, rough. Magnus. Wait, there's an enemy... There's a flyer coming at us from the north. Okay, Magnus will have you deal with the flying enemy. Europa, I want to look at your army really quick. This is a healer. Okay, that's a healer. Let's have Ultra roll around. Alright, we're about to have a huge battle happen here. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's do this. Let's go! I didn't even look to see what was in this army. I just assumed that Magnus' army can handle it. I can't say I agree with them powering down that unit and then not attacking it. Oh, we're going to kill the leader right away, I see. Which is great that they put him right in the front line like that. There should be some sort of bonus you give to the army if you do put your leader right in the front. To be hit by everything, given how, how incredibly awful it is to lose your hero and uh, your leader in this game. Magnus, good work. You don't actually need any experience points. I just felt like having you come up here to neuter that army. And that will do exactly that. Let's pull you back here. And Ultra, you'll be the one to wipe him out. Go after him. Chase him down. If you can. All right. Oh, this is a, this is a difficult battle first. Uh, the good news is that Aloe will be immune to the dragon and counter its power down. Well, or it would have. Well, I guess that technically does do so. It's just it do does it in advance. Oh! 
Oh, 61 damage. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and use an Lumpedra here. Let's use a air one. That's annoying. <laughs> she resisted half of those. We can do it again. And you know what? We're gonna use another Alumpedra against this. That dragon's super annoying. I don't really have a good answer for it. So let's Earth. It guards all of our attacks, too. Good for it. While we do win that encounter, thanks to the Pedras, that doesn't permanently get rid of that army at all. It will force it away. Yeah, temporarily. Bumba, let's have you use your quick gate. And then I'm just going to dispatch you again. And you'll stay here. You know what? Actually, Magnus, we are going to have you go back after that unit, because it's going to fly across that river. And we'll have Ultra join the rest of the squad out this way instead. Adora's next. You're fighting the easy army, Adora, but, you know, you'll, that's good. You should slaughter them. Nice guards! Holy crap! Crap! Oh, good guard on their side, too. Lots, lots of blocking. It's a bit awkward to start with. Whoa! 107 damage on the Satyrus. Well done. Or Sataros, or whatever, whatever, whatever I'm supposed to call them. Nice! Good blocks! Wow. And we should... Yeah, we'll, we'll get another one of these, and our front line gets another slice. Our front line being, uh, Fordham. Good God! You just wiped them out! <laughs> you will wipe out everything you come across, I think. At least everything here won't be a match for you. We get a Terra Shield. Do we use you again? Or do... I don't... I would like to mix it up. So, Adora, I'm going to go ahead and have you also use a Quick Gate. And then we just redeploy you. And we'll have you come right back out again. Actually, the first thing we should do is we buy another Quick Gate. Then we send you out. I think, who was it that noticed? I think it was Grumbly or you, Bruno. Someone noticed that Adora didn't seem to give an extra attack to my units during training. I actually don't think the, that she does that in training for some reason. It's only out here. I guess it, they figured it would be simply too overwhelmingly easy during training to give the princess a fourth attack. I don't know why, but they did. I don't... Oh! This is the sorceress group, Tim. I don't know if this was a good army for her to fight, but it's too late now. Uh, by her, what do you mean? Dio? Oh my god, never mind! This was perfect! Holy crap! 143 damage to everything! Well, to, to two things, just about. And why not? Here, have, a, have more lava. Excellent work. Everyone leveled in the army. Oop, I don't think I paused the game, though. Hold on. 
No, I did. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Dio, uh, we're now sending you back home. We'll de redeploy you. You will pick up another quick gate. And we send you right back out there again. Oh, we have another flyer. It's gonna go across the river. Dio, I'm gonna send you across the river. We're gonna chase down that one army when Magnus chases it across the river in that direction. And I almost forgot Bumba. Uh, Bumba, you're going to go ahead and buy a quick gate for yourself. Oh, Belduke's gonna be the one to kill the Centurion. A bit awkward. Oh, we don't really see Infernos very- oh my god! <laughs> Those often a hundred something damage on the Centurion. Well done, guys. Then, as usual, or as we've been doing now for this particular video, quick gates get the quick gate gets used. Lottery. Actually, what is this? This is the imp army. Bruno, can you wipe them out? In lottery, can you maybe chase her down? And then we redeploy. Bell Duke. Nope, oh, nope, wrong, wrong. Who goes in here and buys a the quick gate? We could have had Adora wipe out all of the enemy armies if we so wanted to, or have like a single one of our units do a good amount of that work. But I like trying to spread the experience on my armies where possible. Head up. I don't know what this where to send you, Bill Duke. We'll have you. Oh, there's a there's a Diana coming this way. I guess we'll head down south then. What is this? A Diana with two imps and two goblins. A Diana fight's not likely to go well, but you'll give it a go anyway, Clifford Lee. Stop! Okay, Bruno, please. Yeah, good. Go north. Hit him in the face, in the side. Hit him in the side. Well, that's awkward. This is what. This is maybe the worst position for us to have engaged them in, given that they are Griffins in the back rank now. Okay, that wasn't that much damage. Resist it! I hate imps. I hate them. Oh, I forgot we have Meteor Storm in here! And they both resisted. I hate imps. I HATE IMPS! <laughs> or gremlins. I hate them. I hate them so much. So stupid. They dodge everything. They dodge- I don't, I'm not even bothered using a Lempedra. What's the point? It's just, it's just gonna resist on every single Lempedra game. Every single one of them. I hate imps. Gremlins, I hate them. That will 
throw them away. Oh, that's a bit awkward. I didn't want them going there. Uh, Bruno, I'm gonna have you come back home. Wait, there's something here. A heavy axe. Okay, a normal weapon. That's probably better than most of the named weapons we've been picking up earlier. Bumba, how are you holding up? Because we need you to take that city. You are hurt badly with two people, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use two heal seeds and just get you right back out there again. Because we can rebuy those heal seeds right now. Actually, we may as well use... I should use the heal pack. Right back into the shop. I kind of like, I kind of preferred it when the shops weren't like the place we, that the, our HQ in these missions, that we had to actually fight for them. Oh well. Quite a bit of chaos happening all over the place here. I love it. This is great. Lots and lots of combat. Of course he's gonna put him to sleep. Of course he's gonna put Clifford to sleep. I only raise his mentality stat a ton in the attempt to keep him awake every single time. And oh my god, that was a lot of damage. I think we're I think we're losing Cassandra. We need an Olympedra here. Oh, this is gonna do nothing because that's a Gremlin's gonna target. Yeah, that's bad. Holy crap! Oh! <laughs> oh! Clifford got the... Got the... Uh, pants knocked off of him. They took off his pants, wrapped around his head, and then kicked him into next week. What the heck? Clifford, get your ass back home and just sit there and rest. Oh my god, that was awful. Ropa, you'll meet what's charging you head on there. Yeah. Get her from behind. Oh, killed her right away, too. Well done. Pokemon Smash will now actually do some good damage. Bit of overkill here. Mirror of Soul. Okay. That's a mentality item. I would give it to you, Clifford, but it doesn't matter because you you get yourself knocked out no matter what we do. Magnus, you gotta you gotta chase him. You, you gotta chase him. Out, off you go. We need to actually save our city potentially. So let's use a quit gate to get Lottery back home and then redispatch him again. Well, you can then repurchase a quick gate. And what's heading your way? Three ravens and two gremlins. Of course there's gremlins. <laughs> okay. So why don't we try this? Let's see. We're going to lose our pumpkin head. Oh, actually, let's do... Let's do this. And I'll use a Hue Leaf... on um, self, just to make sure I don't die. Not, at least not right away. Will we purchase a Hue Leaf? Get it back in this army again? That's very important. And then... I'm going to go after that Diana unit. D 
Theo, you should be safe to rest here. The thing is, like, he's not, not gonna go after you. Nice. 70 damage to everything. Assuming he doesn't, he's not put asleep. Ah! I hate Gremlins! <laughs> I hate them! I hate them! <laughs> okay, so we only get one Annihilation off on this army. Well, the leader did perish, which is good. Europa will have you take the city after all. Actually, no, we'll have you, yes, we'll have you do that. All right, Beltuk, you're gonna intercept. Ult, uh, Adora, I'm gonna risk resting you right in front of their army, same thing. Actually, on Ultra, we'll just have you Charge Fisher. How many units are in here? Oh, there's a few leftovers. All right, Bruno, we're gonna just stay here. So my original plan, everyone, for our army was to recruit an ogre and a satirist from this army and then try to get a sphinx and put them all in Apophis's army. But it occurred to me as I'm playing this that I, I don't think I'm gonna do that after all. Because I want a, the Sphinx with a Beastmaster. Uh, Royal Rumbler, I think, is the gentleman's name, who left a comment letting me know that the Sphinx counts as a beast. So it should be improved by our Beastmaster's 10% bonus damage. So I, I'm going to try to get one in our army after all. That means that I have to consider where other units can be moved around to. So we're probably retiring our fairies, for example, and Donovan's going to go. Can't sleep a lich! Can't sleep a lich! Oh! Ah, uh, darn it. I was hoping that would not happen. Wait, Belduke, this is your... Oh, right, this is your army. You're fighting the... Uh, the flyer group. Nothing was paralyzed with that. Can't sleep a lich, bitch! Nice try! Oh, but you can sleep Bell Duke. Doesn't quite die. Kill one of them. Please kill one of the gremlins. Okay, good. You know, if the fairies were as good as the imps, they would probably be worth keeping and utilizing on the front lines. But as it is, they're just not, unfortunately. They're no... I don't feel like they're ever as dodgy, as, nor do they resist as much as the gremlins do. Clifford, you need to sit here for a, a day at least and think about what you did and how, which is to say, not much in that one. Oh God, Dio, break out! They're coming after you. I did not expect that. Uh, let's see if I can avoid them. Okay. Huh? What's this? It's a feather of Archangel. Assuming both of my troops aren't s are slept, yeah, uh, Flame and Lottery are both not slept, we should do some decent damage to them. Ha 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 ha! 
Watch this one gremlin survive by resisting the Tempest. It resisted the Tempest and did not die. Not enough hit points. Good job, Lottery. My goodness. God, this is so annoying. <laughs> I, I'm serious. If the, if the final battle is consisting of, like, a gremlin leader leading a group of four gremlins, God! <laughs> Find out who designed this game and kill him. <laughs> oh my goodness, so, so annoying. So annoying. From the back! Wow. That was a substantial amount of damage. Thankfully, Cage will survive. Well, Cage is a skeleton. It survives anyway. Does he become... Oh, I'm about to ask if he becomes a ghost here. I freaking hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Oh my goodness. Well, the good news is that that's more experience points waiting for us. Ultra. Let's use the heal leaf. Do I want... No, okay. I don't want a goblin. We have a love and peace, so I'm looking at these units at the moment to see, do I want what's in them? There's a single Satoros here. They're basically Black Knights, but they have less armor. And they use a different type of weapon. Susie the Gorgon, with two golems in the back rank. I don't think I do want a, a Satoris in the end. No, we're not going to use any level pieces. We'll keep our army as it is at this moment. I did not even look at this army. We should be okay. Oh, we would have been better had to use Blue Spiral. It's a flame flail that one's using to do the fireball. That will help them decide to use blue spiral likely. Yep. Wow! 125 damage that over. Well done. Ultra, we don't actually want you, though, taking the city. That's Bumba's task. This is the two ogre, one black knight army. We should be okay. so guilty using the Draconite books. Uh, they are extraordinarily strong, but there's... We're already using a bunch of rules to try to make it a little tougher for us, and it is fun to see them. It adds a little bit of variety to our armies. Duke, you are taking that city. What's left here? We'll kill them too. Oh, 
Oh, you know, Adora, you could probably take the city, actually. And Bumba can kill that guy. The stronghold Lorki has been liberated. But let's let you recover a little bit of stamina. Adora, you'll take the city. Okay, um, Bruno, you were, you were hurt a little bit, right? Oh, you were hurt a lot of bits. Uh, sure, let's just do what I've been doing. So, heal leaf. You buy the heal leaf. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Come here. Let's go out of here and kill this guy! He was there taunting me by being alive still. And we'll go into the cities that we are... The city we just liberated and this one which we are, I believe, about to liberate. You know, you could leave the... the grub... Sword of Fire Drake. Oh, that's garbage. <laughs> you could, you could. Oh, we see we see him liberating Kalis Ande. I actually thought I tar told you to target the creature, so that's kind of lucky that you also liberated that place too. Let's see, Ultra, let's have him move in here. If the fairies got a second power up, a kiss at the front or second rank, that could go a long way to making them a lot more useful. Oh well. People will fight for a good place to live. Most wars are caused by this. When you consider that, this is a great place. It doesn't look like it supports much in the way of agriculture, judging from the snow and tundra. But up here, looks like it might. So I guess they supply the, the towns in this area. Right, Europa, let's go ahead and wipe out this unit. Okay, we'll have Ultra visit this town. Why don't you guys stop this stupid war? This is a great place. No army would come here. Nor would the demons. If there are any. Oh, I guess the people don't realize what's watching over them here. Okay, Adora. I'm looking at your experience points. You need just one more thing killed to level up your unit again. So... Let's kill the single Satoros here. Yeah, Magnus is unable to cross the river to get it. Which is what I knew would happen. We want to kill everything. Everything dies. So we're pushing it out in that direction so Dio can march up and get it. Is the plan. It might actually hover in the river. Which would be super awkward, because then we can't kill it at all. <laughs> so hopefully that does not happen. Wow, this is awful. Crit slept power down. I don't even care anymore. I, I, I've already said my piece about imps. It must be nice to never be struck by anything. What a fantastic front and resist everything too. It's great. It's just great. Thank goodness for Annihilation. Another Harvestag, however you say that staff. We'll be back here, Europia. Okay, and we're gonna have you sleep here, Magnus, because it won't attack you. And Dio, you can rest you as well. Get some more distance to that Raven group. Now since, well, do I want... 
to use you any- I guess- oh wow, yeah, you're hurt. I do want to use you again, Beldu, to get you to level 30. And Clifford is still badly hurt. But you know, Clifford can probably make the trip down here and liberate the stronghold now. So he'll do that. Abuno, let's rescue. We're gonna chase down that one Raven group. Lottery is level 30. Flame is 29. 30, 30. I'm gonna have Lottery do a little area exploration. So this way we don't have to do it in between episodes, because I don't think I'm gonna use him again pushing out towards the west. God. Well done. And now Adora has left hold. So this enemy army, the one we're staring at here, Susie, is the only army that could probably give you a dowsing rod. Could probably give you a hard time, Adora, because of the Gorgon in the front. So we'll want Clifford Lee to fight that, or Bruno to fight it. Bruno, but first Bruno is going to kill what's left in that. And Clifford, you are going to go there. Where, where, where are you going? Okay, very good. Bumba. Let's have you try to chase down what's left of that group. What is this city's morale? 67. Has to be a mostly lawful group that goes there. Magnus could probably do that. Vice though is gonna is staying here at the moment to make sure that that unit doesn't come back over the river. Okay. Uh, Magnus, we're gonna move you inch by inch towards him again. Push him out more to the east. We've won. It, it can miss most of our attacks. We will eventually hit it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize it was just a single imp there. So you are too lawful to take that city, Bumba. I guess we can have you do a little bit of exploration to do that. Mind as you sit there and watch. We really want Clifford or Bruno bro both over here on the other side of those mountains to take a peek to free that city. As they are our anti-petrification groups. Though generally they're, they're used to deal with cockatrices, not with what they're about to fight, but I think it'll work out for them. Okay, Dio, you can... I, uh, we should keep Minus here just to make sure. Chalafutu has been liberated. All right, Clifford, what are they talking about inside the city? Hmm. It's a mite cold today. How about a drink? What are you guys doing here with such a huge army? We're hunting down demons. And they are in this area. Let's sit there and rest for a little bit. No chases on that raven. Well, Duke, how you holding up? Still a little hurt. Okay, that should be good. Dio has got him. So let's have you investigate the Snowy Barons for a bit, Magnus. 
El Duke will pull you forward. Yes! Normally I feel so guilty fighting a sleeping enemy. Oh, but I hate imps so much. I just, that's my gremlins so much. I just want, I just want to kill them. And if they're sleeping, they don't get a chance to, uh, to avoid being struck. Good work, Dio. Let's see what that army had for treasure, assuming they had something at all. Check it out! A nice blade. It's not a bad weapon. Dio, we can rest you, and you'll do a little bit of exploring out there. Hey, take a look at this! Saint's Shield! That sounds nice. Lottery, you can go ahead and rest. Clifford, we are going to have you come back over here. Help us deal with that city. Ultra, we can just rest you. All right, Europia, I guess. I guess we should do some more exploring with you since we're up in this area. So we'll do this to start. Adora, let's have you go here. We could tr uh, we could try having Adora fight the Gorgon, but it's not likely to go well. It is entirely possible that we lose Adora's entire army to that uh, to petrification. It could totally happen. So we probably don't want to do it. Oh, I thought we could explore more of this area. I guess not. All right, Dio, let's have you do this to start. Ultra. Something like this. Oh my god, Bruno, rest. Lottery. Was there nothing out here? Check. Could be something on the river's edge. Now, you, to my knowledge, you can actually buy, by the way, a second Annihilation book. It's still for sale at, at the McDonald's or at that one other uh, shop we had seen it at earlier. It would be horrifically expensive, though. At this point in the game, it's probably so close to 60,000 goth. It goes up, I think, like 7 goth every in game day or something like that. So it's very expensive at this point. Which I just said. I'm repeating myself. Kill the goblin. Why is your alignment shifting so much? A sun manis. Okay, it's been a while since we've seen one of those. That was something we got very early on, though. That was Ariush's blade, if I recall correctly. Now, why is your alignment shifting? Jasper was put in this army, which is why. Okay, gotcha. It's not necessarily a bad thing. We could use another neutral army. Uh, Bumba, let's have you... We might avoid that one city at this rate. We'll see. Actually, no. No, we absolutely will not, because uh, Clifford's on the way. I didn't find anything there. I, it, by the way, if you skip the area explorations, this is this is what I do during them. You just go out. I send them into, out to random locations looking for treasure or things we left behind. Chaldea. Looks like a heart. Like a brooch of some sort. I visit all the cities to see what the people in them are talking about. Ultra, I don't want you accidentally claiming the good stronghold. I'm 
Bell Duke, I'll send you this way. So I checked these little uh, outcroppings of land by the rivers with the belief that they probably have some loot in them. There's imps in this, isn't there? There's an imp. We have to kill the, the raven in front of it, though, before it wakes up. The face! Yeah, this is this is for you. And you blocked it, and you survived. And you dodged that. And you dodged that too. We're gonna sleep our, our sorceress, so she won't be able to Okay, you did not. Good. Oh my god. Well done, guys. Whew. Man, they are they are really, really frustrating. So, okay. Uh, oh, another love and peace. Holy crap, we have so many of them now. So, they don't actually have to be that frustrating. And indeed, they're not really if I was to change my army battle formation to attack leader. Since, generally, I won't waste attacks on the imps when I'm doing that. Because we'll kill the leader, neuter the army, and then I don't care so much about them any longer. Oh, no! She is on the loose. The enemy armies are actually now out and about looking to fight. I was not expecting them to lead their cities. Okay, what are we doing about this? So Clifford, let's start resting you because you're going to be the one to fight this unit. Actually, we can angel fruit you and you can just do this. We'll use a heal pack because you're still a little hurt. Go get her. Bell Duke, I want you moved away from that. What is this? Woody? Ceteris, two imps, two goblins, and Darner. Ceteris, two ogres. We, Bumba cannot hold against both those forces. He doesn't have a healer in his group aside from Aloe. So we'll wait here for them to arrive and then probably quit gate. Ultra, we're going to have to rest you. Adora, let's get you on the mountaintop. Lottery, let's check out this little spot. There's probably something there. Actually, Europa can probably take that one city, can't she? Mm, she is dead neutral. Just about. I don't think she'll have... Oh, that's 36. Uh, I think she can take it. I think she can take it. We'll try. Let's see. Let's do something like this with you. Adora, I'm going to quick get you because I don't want you fighting that Gorgon. And then we can go ahead and repurchase a new one. And I guess we'll guard the city, because we, we don't have anyone else there. Oh my goodness. Although, it will be interesting if we ambush her from behind with Clifford's army. I don't think we'll do that. 
Bumba is engaged with the first enemy, first battle. I don't like seeing it where these gremlins are located. Yes, we slept one. Oh, nice! And we powered up Bumba. He'll kill it if he attacks it a, a, another time. Uh, I should not need to use a Petra. Troy taking some big hits. That's annoying. Some good blocks on their side at the end. Oh, okay. Well, based on where they're located, we get to use one healing item only. So let's use a heal seed. Remember that house rule? The AIs only get a chance to use one item, so I only get a chance to use one item as well. It's just this should be the same group we just fought, because they didn't move back at all. kind of nasty. <laughs> I can't put to sleep. Someone immediately hits you in the head with a two-handed sword. I think Bumpa is... Oh! Wow! 160 crit on the imp! Holy crap! That was awesome! Well done! Now, I think we're going to fight the same group again. So, Bumba's going to use... a heal leaf. Here. And they healed their goblin. Which is acceptable. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, that that goblin crit are are cataphract twice in two different battles. Oh. Only 20 damage though, I'm making a big deal of nothing. Well done guys. We found an item. Another dowsing rod. What is this is in two ogres, isn't it? Okay, so then we need to heal our front line, but we only have time to use one item. So, that means we heals pack. Okay, Bumba, you stay there. That's a shame. Clifford Lee decided to be smart and pivot slightly. If he just headed straight south, he would have actually engaged the Gorgon. Guys are meaty. 200 something hit points on them, and good defense, too. Good guard there, St. George. Well done. Oh, nice! We killed an ogre! Well, and the leader, too. Well done. Bumba actually held the bridge. Good work. Let's chase down that unit then, Bumba. Clifford, just go straight south, and trust me, you'll run into her. Don't try to be clever. Interesting. Arguably the best way to attack her from the side. She won't get her gaze attack and gets only one shot.
bought, I, bought, I didn't want to jinx it. I wasn't sure if we won or not, looking over at how much damage our paladin took in this fight, but we did. Clifford, you really should chase her down so we can get some experience points on your army since you need it pretty badly. Well, not pretty badly, I'm sorry, but you do need it. We'll keep you there. Oop, I couldn't see what this was. It didn't look like a satirist, though. A demon. Oh, it's a shame. Two black knights in this army, but we can't love and peace this army. Because the moment we kill the leader, we win the, uh, the mission. Saint's garb found the shield, found their outfit. I guess there's a naked saint running around out here someplace in the in the in the middle of winter. Saint Francis, if I correctly, had gotten rid of all of his earthly possessions when he decided to uh, become. I don't want to say a friar because I think he de he designed his own. Holy Orders, if I recall correctly, the Franciscans. Good job, guys. Two golems dead. Didn't quite level you, but we didn't need it in the end. Oh, sorry, we did what we did wanted it. Sorry, what on earth am I saying? A flame shield. You can rest. Belduke, let's take the stronghold. Magnus, you're probably tired. Bruno's tired. Yeah, Magnus can rest as well. Europia can rest. Bumbo, what are you doing? Why do you do that? Let's have you use some angel fruit. I think what happened there is the enemy moved, uh, we saw the road and wanted to be on the road to make it easier to catch this guy, but then the road was no longer useful, and so Bumba left the road and turned to the southeast, no longer intercepting the enemy army he was chasing. Pathing in this game is a little frustrating, but whatever. Yeah, that's the charm. I have never seen that sword fail to sleep something if we do hit with it. Ogre armor. That must be for a cataphract. Okay, Bumba. I'm not going to have you attack the leader, but I would like to move up this way. So we can investigate what's behind it. Clifford. Europa is going to take that city. I think you can take this one. Oh, no, 67. No, you cannot. Uh, Magnus is taking that city. That's a 36 city. Clifford, what's your army again? Your morale? Slightly lawful, but generally neutral. Same as Europa, basically. I'll do can sit there and rest. Bruno, let's have you cross. Bumba. Bumba. said, do not engage the demon. That means no buzzing the tower in there either. You don't do that. Go up this way.
So overall, not bad. An exciting mission. I was expecting... When I noticed that there was no sphinxes around, I suddenly was no longer interested in really love and piecing any of the armies here. We'll go back to my original plan, which is to try to get some dragon masters in our army. Most of what we've been fighting out here has been demons in several of these scenes that were optional. Adora, I should really just leave you here just to be safe because I don't want my city to be taken. And maybe I didn't see someone who spawned somewhere who was marching toward the city. So we'll do that. Good luck, Clifford. I hope you can take the city without making it hostile. And then we'll have Bruno and Ultra fight this army. Trikazi has been liberated. Oh, she looks angry. Their hands on her hips. Humans are ugly. Maybe we should be exterminated. We're selfish and don't care about anyone else. Oh, that depends upon the person. There are some really good looking people. I used to be one of them a long time ago when I was in shape and running and stuff like that. I used to think I looked good. Now I'm fat. <laughs> and old. <laughs> it's fat. You're not fat, Tim, but you are overweight. You're not obese. You're not fat. But you could stand to lose 20 pounds now, especially after Thanksgiving. Oh, guys, getting on that scale yesterday. I avoided it for uh, two weeks because I, I knew I weighed a little more than I would like. Oh, man. I have not been this heavy in a decade. So I got to I gotta start losing the weight again. Oh, we messed the world up with our own pathetic squabbles. Well, the demons are messing up our world with their pathetic squabbles against us. It's no good. We shouldn't be eliminated. Stop that nonsense. Bruno, I can't help but notice you. You walked right up to the entrance of the city there. To add insult to injury to this demon, I'm gonna arrest him right outside. Uh, Clifford. You are... Probably not doing anything else. Right, we're waiting for Magus to take this city, and then we're done. Oh, there was nothing up there? No treasures? Which one of you could use the experience a little more? 29.64 on Bruno's group. 30.46. Okay, so it's going to be Bruno's group to start. All right, let's see has been liberated. All right, that's the last of the cities. Good for us not having captured any. You say the demons are evil, because where they're from? They aren't evil at all. They've liberated our minds. They've realized our lust and freed us. Oh, I've never felt this good before. Forgetting these inhibitions has made me feel so free. Oh man. So the... Just abandon your faith like that, Miss Cleric? <laughs> well, I guess you maybe you've had uh, more years than most to... Uh, to not engage in certain activities, I suppose. All right, Bruno, good luck. Why do you stand in my way? I'm only here to grant the wishes of you humans. To be free from restrictions, like in my world. To create an ideal world where you are bound to no one. I like his armor. It looks pretty cool. I don't know what he does. We have some boss music playing. I'm a little nervous about this, but I think we'll be okay. Assuming they don't have any combined attacks. Please don't be 100 damage. Three damage! Okay, that's not so bad. We can take three damage. 
Wow, Tracy is wearing something that makes her immune to Bane. Tracy, I need to check you. What are you wearing? That did that, did that. That's amazing. Congratulations! An ogre blade. Ogre armor, ogre blade. So we'll see. That sounds like it should be a two-handed weapon. is great. Everybody is free. Each and every one of us live to satisfy our wants, being true to our feelings. That is awful. <laughs> do whatever you want. And no one, uh, that's, at least it sounds like, do whatever you want without any concern about anything as a consequence or what anyone else thinks or might, how they might be affected. If that's what that says, if that's what that means, I don't know if I agree with that at all. I don't. The only law we have is strength. Humans, do you realize that this is not the time to quarrel amongst yourselves? The Desonants of the Netherworld want this blessed land. Your world has their own. Be warned. Why did you tell me that? So it's more than just a resurrection of their queen, uh, Danica. They also want this realm. Well, I mean, they fought for it, right? A long time ago against the humans to see who would actually own this world. Wonder what would happen to the humans if they lost. I guess this was their place and that would have been it. It's not like they would have been banished to the netherworld. They weren't from there to begin with was the impression I got. Humans are so different from us. They hate and kill each other over trivial matters, while they laugh and find joy in such insignificant matters. I wished I could live in comfort, like the way you do. Sad, in a way. Maybe he was looking to experience the world around him in a different way. Well, that didn't, we didn't lose anybody in that mission, which is a nice change. We've been losing folks for a bit. So, as usual, guys, we'll stop here. And in the next episode, it's time to begin the march toward the end of the game, which we've been doing arguably since the beginning of the game. But I believe that we go through a series of particular battles once we hit Latium. I think it's Latium, a siege? I, I think we might be marching toward Wetness at some point. And... I think there's another siege here. There might be one other place in the way, and then... And then I guess it's over. I think the end of the game takes place here at Mount Kiraleth, where we've been before. You guys might remember that I tried to draw your attention to, like, the ruins that were here. I'm pretty sure we'll discover that they are very important for some reason, and this will be where the last of our battles will take place. And so now the rest of the game will be marching in this direction. So we don't have much left. I think this was scene 35. I think we've got five more. Five or six more missions left and then it's over. In any case, thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.